the point is where we need to create the navbar because we are switching between the components the router dom react router dom is actually switching between the components we call them pages but the header should be above all these things so i can say like uh, the header should include inside this so i can create a nav inside this nav i can say ul and inside this ul or i can directly call instead of these things i can directly call like uh, div so div is having a home then login then gallery let's see how it's going to look yep these are here and these are available on every routing okay so now let's make them a proper route but if i make them as a anchor tag and then give a href of slash and then href of slash login let's see what's going to happen on these two so slash is okay login is also okay but every time i do this it refreshes the page it's not good thing so we just need to go to the react router dom once again and here you can see it's given that we can use the link to create new links and we can actually copy all the nav part so i can cut and paste these things just need to import link from the react router dom just like this one and then i can say it's uh, actually gallery so i can call it gallery oops and finally it's not user it's login slash login okay let's try this so login yep gallery cool home is home so now it's very very nice and that's how we create a dedicated you can say nav bar <laughs> but once again the role of app.js is not to create all these links it just need to hold the nav bar so i can create a new component and i call this component as header dot js obviously and this is header.js you can call it a nav bar or header bar anything you want but i just call it this one so i cut this nav from here and then paste it here once again we need to import this link from react router dom just like this and then we need to remove the link from here because we are not using it here so let's close this uh, now uh, before closing we need to actually import the header in, inside this uh, uh, app.js so it's not headers it's just header so this should be imported yeah it's imported now let's close app.js inside this header.js we have everything and yes it is working but now let's style these things so first thing very first thing i can do i can simply say this ul as flex so that everything is in line then giving this nav as a padding of padding y of let's say three okay maybe i can give five and yeah so i can zoom it like this okay so that's cool and also give background of uh, let's say purple 900 and instead of purple i i should go with uh, gray 900 and then text of white okay that's good but next we need the login should be on the right but not home and gallery so for that i can do one thing is i can create a span tag in this span i can move them like this 
and then I can say justify between so yeah we have like this and now we need to give this a span as a flex yeah it's good but now we need the padding for the X in this UL so padding X of let's say 10 10 is okay now we need some space between gallery and this so I can give this to ally as a class name for margin right of uh, let's say 5 okay so this is good and login is on the right everything is fine and now we can easily switch between the pages wow cool next task is to go into this login component and login page I call it and then have some form 